to another CG cast with Spot the Aussie, and tonight I've got a special co cast with me, fellow who's bad player and fellow admin of the CG Hon Forum, Slob. How's it going tonight, big fella? Uh, good, thanks, Spot. I'm, I'm really keen to watch this match. I'm, I'm keen to see Cyber Hunter get knocked off their perch at the top of the ladder. You're definitely right. They're going for a flawless run of 10 0 in maps and five rounds, taking out the entire CGM round. and might actually go through undefeated in the entire tournament, which I don't believe has ever been done previously in any uh, Hon CG uh, competition to this date. So, it'd be good to see the boys from one day knock them off. They did uh, pull a bit of an upset against the RU New team a couple of weeks back. Do you think uh, it's very viable that they can get through another one on this, these guys? Uh, it depends, man. I mean, I haven't seen Arctic Owl around a lot, so I don't know how much actual gaming he's been doing, but... Uh... I, I don't know. I, I'd like to see the, the one-day guys um, fire up and, and get a win, but I, I just think the, the City Hunter guys are going to be far too strong. Yeah, I'm going to have to vouch for you on that one. Al has been out of the scene. He's recently moved places in Melbourne and uh, has had to uh, commence his place, or I should be saying playing, at the uh, local lane cafe of all his mates, or as he calls them, kids. But uh, doing things a little bit differently tonight, we actually do have an interview from these guys on the battlefield just prior to this match starting, and here it is. <laughs> He's too strong! I, I don't think we can win! <laughs> oh, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know! Well, I do. You are all going to perish, and it won't be pretty. <laughs> Nonsense! That's right! Our chances of winning are just as good as yours are! Huh? Baloney! You're goners! No way! <laughs> oh my, I can't take this. You are so blind. Haven't you noticed yet? Our fighting power is increasing with every attack. Mm. Yes, especially that little mop top. His power is enormous, but he doesn't even know it yet. Huh? And that's not all. I've become a Super Saiyan, your worst nightmare. Hmm. hmm. A Super Saiyan, huh? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> that is if we ever come to it! <sighs> Pretty intense pre-battle interview, wouldn't you say, Slob? Oh, man. Uh, to be honest, it's the biggest load of shit. Like, there's a lot of shit talking going on there. Whether or not the One Day guys can back it up, we'll see. <laughs> exactly, we've already gone through the banning picks. Uh, Slobus, you want to call them out, or should I say rabbits? <laughs> oh, I'll answer to both. Uh, on the um, on the Hellborn side for one day, they've uh, Arctic Cows rolled out with the bands of Myrmidon, Rhapsody, Pharaoh, and Kraken. And on the Legion side, we've got Devourer, Keeper of the Forest, uh, Vindicator, and... Uh, I can't see the other one, I'm blind. Wretched Hag, sorry. A little bit up further. So, I mean, no, nothing too out of the ordinary there. It looks like a lot of push heroes have been banned, and uh, Rhapsody sort of falls into that uh, into that category, wouldn't you say, Spot? Have you seen Rhapsody around lately? Rhapsody's a pretty solid uh, pusher and defender of both towers, so it works either way, and it's... um. You know, a good, a good counter towards uh, Keeper and Ophelia or any of those type of minions that you can pull out like a Balfour or and just push yourself away. So the element of uh, survivability to any lane uh, tower, that's great. But when pushing, it's not that great because it doesn't do DPS. So if Rhapsody was by herself in a lane pushing away, she'd put down her... Um, her Disco Inferno, of course, giving the creeps a bit more life, taking away the enemy creeps as they came up and opposed the tower push, but it wouldn't actually knock the tower down as fast as what a Keeper or a Balfour would with the, all the minions just jumping on that tower and mauling it away. So the Rapture is more about the survivability element, and I'm not sure why it was banned, considering that Keeper was banned as well. It's a bit of a give or take, like, uh, for example, I, I would have thought Magnus would have been banned, but he's been picked up automatically. Uh, Plague Rider uh, has not been banned 
either, and he got picked up, which I know both teams love to play. So I was surprised with um, one day deciding not to ban him, but actually picking him up, seeing as though they don't have a big pre-game history of playing that hero. So, you know, there's a couple of surprising picks we've already got underway. The Tempest, Dr. Repulsa on uh, Al. I've never actually seen him play that either. I'm going to suggest that maybe Carnivores will swap his Magmas for Al's Repulsa. I'm not sure. And for the uh, Legion side, City Hunter have already picked up Witch Slayer and Voodoo Jester. Now, I used to love that combination back when I was in the CGI many, many months ago, and I know you would have spectated a couple of those games. But it's really fallen out because just there's so many better heroes and support and the combinations they can get. But a good Acid Cocktail can really um, turn team fights. So he is viable still. And we see Dark Lady picked up. Comments about that one, Slub? Uh, perfectly fine pickup, I, I would say. Um, especially when you've got two really long-range uh, support heroes that are going to be in the tri lane. I'd expect to see um, Witch Slayer and Witch Slayer, Dark Lady, Voodoo just a bottom so, uh, bottom tri lane with um, Bubbles as the solo uh, top and uh, Emerald Warden solo mid. Uh, what's actually interesting? Um, is Torturer is still on the board. Now, Torturer has been picked up in just about every single game I've seen lately, or either picked up or permanently banned. So, uh, interesting to see that neither team has decided to pick him up, even though he's still on the board there. Exactly. Your mate Jojo Flower, as we uh, used to know him as Spedrick, would play him uh, just as much as he would in pubs as competitive games. And the Emerald Warden pick, I don't think he would be playing mid. I do not think after playing Emerald Warden over and over and over, he's just not a viable mid hero. I love to play him in either the long or short lane, and I also love when I play him getting Overgrowth my, as my first ability, putting out the Overgrowth in a very defensive type of um, uh, area, and then running back to the spawn and then coming back with a full mana trait as if you didn't actually use that mana to cost of anything and then putting out another overgrowth in a defensive position so you can't get caught off and you're aware if any of the support gankers come across the lane. So I'm interested to see how Sonagong decides to play uh, Emerald Warden. If he does go mid, yeah, fair enough. Um, we'll just have to see where he goes with that one. I am... Um, for the Hellborn side, I'm going to assume that Repulsa will be playing mid. Now, Repulsa has been swapped to Brown, who tonight is going to be Peace of Sago, who I believe is uh, Angel Advocate. No, no, Angel Advocate's there. Okay, that must be fancy footwork, my mistake. He's playing Corrupted, yeah. Okay, so what do you reckon with the Hellborn lady? We're going to probably see... Oh, this is going to be a bit. Well, of... you'd have to see. You'd have to think Tempest with jungle with, um, I don't know, Magmus, Magmus CD top plague solo. <laughs> I don't know, man. They do. They do have a lot of options there. Whether they send, um, I guess they could send corrupted solo top with Tempest jungle, but that's sort of wasted. I mean, I don't know. It's a very interesting lineup to say the least. I think that they might put Plague Rider at bottom, considering that Dark Lady is probably going to go bottom, and try and take away the golden experience that Dark Lady can uh, consume while farming in that lane, considering that's probably going to be an already lost lane, knowing that they've picked up a Tempest. Uh, I just don't know where the Magmus is going to fit. Is he going to be roaming? It's going to be a bit pointless if you've only got one roamer or ganker. You're not going to be able to do much. Considering... And then again, there are better roamers and gankers than Magmus, especially at lower levels when his um, Lava Surge doesn't go quite as far. Nonetheless, yeah. though, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that um, City Hunter have drafted pretty well for this one. Uh, I, do, I do like their draft. Uh, oh, I, do, I will favour their draft over, uh, over one days, for sure. Yeah, I think but, uh, uh, they've got a pretty much covered uh, late game, um, as Magni is going to be playing Dark Lady, but I've never known City Hunter to play a, a really uh, hard carry kind of a late game type of a format. Usually the metagame consists of just early pushes, getting the victory, smashing their opponent while they still can, and then kind of just having their gold and XP advantage and overrunning their opponents while uh, keeping the pressure up. So they've 
done something completely different to what they're uh, used to do. And as we can see, I'm rewarding. Going to be putting down that overgrowth at mid. Like I had uh, called or suggested, as I usually do myself. And he's probably going to run back in time to the spawn pool. Come back with another mana pool and um, just place another one as he does. And he's going to be putting that up. I'm not sure. Probably just up on near the... Uh, a tournament of the Hellborn side? No, he's going all the way through the jungle by himself. He's uh, yeah. very keen. Okay, so he's decided to use the overgrowth to block one of the medium camps for creeps, so Tempest won't be able to farm as easy having that triangle uh, camp there of neutral. So, bit of an interesting choice. He's also deciding to put the second one in the other camp. Now, the only way that Tempest is going to be able to know that that's what's there and not actually wards is by walking into them and uh, setting them off so the creeps can spawn. So that's going to delay Tempest a little bit in the levels foundation. It looks like Emerald Warden's going to be placing up another one. Okay. Alright, that's completely different to what I've usually seen him do. So he's decided to block all the camps with his overgrowths and uh, play it that way. We see Witch Slayer in mid. Looks like they might 2 on 1 mid just to get the advantage over Repulsor. That's... That's a bit of an interesting one. And we see Tempest Amid has also denied one of the creeps, so he's going to be out and about trying to get up those early levels. He might be a bit surprised when there's no neutral camps up there in three locations at least. Yeah, very interesting from Sonogonga. Definitely a viable strategy, but I mean, they'd have to look at his mana and think, well, he's probably placed... Um He's probably placed those overgrowths sort of everywhere with the, with all that mana missing, but uh, there's a lot of action going on at bottom. Plague Rider in a bit of trouble, but uh, he's going to get away safely. So I think that um, there's only so much uh, XP that Plague Rider can deny in that bottom lane, and I think he's going to really struggle against this tri lane, with, especially with the range on Voodoo Jester and Witch Slayer sort of supporting that, uh, supporting that Dark Lady. In theory, it might be a viable move, seeing as though, uh, you know, they've done their homework and they think that's the best way to go about it, but it's just with the picks that they've got with the Tempest at the top. Tempest still hasn't set off those uh, overgrowth, so he's not just aware of the situation. He's decided to back. Has he just disconnected or is he just getting more mana? I'm not actually sure what he's doing. That's uh, maybe a bit of a mistake there. I'm not sure, but at the top we see Bubbles going up against Corrupt Disciple. Meanwhile, Magmus is looking to pull the camp, and he just looks stunned as he stands there. He's put up, uh, Carnivalus has put up a Ward of Reveal, and I don't think he's going to be able to see that overgrowth through all the confusion. He's looking around, he's trying to get to the overgrowth, I'm not sure if he can actually see it. He's deciting to go back to the lane. Yeah, so Sonogong's really done his homework on just how to do that Emerald Warden in a team situation. Meanwhile, Tempest is put up a water reveal himself and he's just walked into the overgrowth trap set it off so he's going to be able to get underway but he's still level one and it's two minutes into the game so they're going to be crucially behind when it comes to this uh, situation of team fights in a couple of minutes as i know these guys from city hunter are vouching to go for as early as they possibly can with a level advantage at middle though we've got sego fancy footwork controlling the lane four levels to two and he's going to make a move on towards emerald warden who's just going to be able to walk out of that one Meanwhile, Wishlay hits the invisibility. He's going to come up behind Dr. Repulsa. Is he going to stun him? Yes. He might actually go through it. Yes, he does. We're going to see a bit of a trap. Release to the walls by Emerald Water. Minimization by uh, Wishlayer. And he's going to go down. One, two, three. See you later, buddy. A uh, bit of a... Uh, bit of an interesting first blood that, that I was that was an interesting taunt. I haven't seen that one before. <laughs> With the, the hand that comes up out of the ground. I haven't seen that one. Now, I just wanted to make mention of um, of the counter ward up in the medium camp near the tower on the Hellborn side. Where um, Magmus has placed that ward, it will actually block the camp there as well. And I'm uh, actually going to see Plague Rider in a lot of trouble here at bottom. He's got the Maledict on him, and I reckon he's, he's taken way too much damage here. Yeah, he's going to die. But um, sort of where that uh, where that Rev ward is back to back to top near the tower there, um, that I, I, it will reveal Emerald's trap, but it'll still block the creeps where it is. So not a, not a. Really